We can never truly find certainty in the uncertainty. Instead, what we have done is we've limited ourselves from the limitless possibilities and the guide of our highest self. Welcome back to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind and of course, your daily microdose. Now tune in to the latest episode of One's Journey. Today I wanna talk about certainty and uncertainty. Yes, certainty and uncertainty. We have tricked ourselves, friends to believe that certainty provides positive outcomes. Whenever we find ourselves in a place of uncertainty, meaning we have no freaking clue what the outcome's going to possibly be, we immediately attempt to create certainty, a false sense of certainty, because it feels like we are taking back control. And we have been taught that when you are in control is when you can create the outcome. And when you are out of control is when the outcome happens to you. Interesting, huh? Because I'm always telling you that you can be in control. But the difference here is the one thing you actually have control over is your perspective of what's going on outside of you. But this false sense of certainty believes that we can control what's outside of us. We can control an outcome and therefore we feel secure because we've been taught that in uncertainty is when bad things happen. But the interesting thing is a lot of times when we're sitting in uncertainty and we attempt to create that false sense of certainty, that false sense of certainty that we tend to create is the negative outcome. What? So if we're told that if we sit in uncertainty, the outcome will most likely be negative. So then we try to create certainty in the outcome and it still is a negative outcome that we're certain of, then isn't it literally the same outcome? Again, the only thing you actually have control over is your perception, my friend. So let's say that outcome when you are in the perspective of fear is bad. So instead shift your perspective. But again, we've been taught that we must create certainty in the uncertain. So for example, when you are struggling to find that partner in your life. A lot of times people will say, I I'm just going to, I'm going to die single. I'm never going to find that person. But what they've done is they've created certainty in an uncertain situation. But the problem is that will most likely become their outcome. And let me tell you why. Because when we have created a false sense of certainty, we have created a narrative in our mind. And when we have a narrative that is operating in the background, remember in the dark, the monster under the bed, that's really a mouse. Our actions align with that narrative, even the most subtle of actions. So for example, if you've already created that narrative, I will be single for the rest of my life. And a friend comes up to you and is like, Oh my gosh, I met this guy and I think he would be great for you to test out. Well, you already have this certainty of a narrative playing that you will be single for the rest of your life. So your immediate response is, oh no, nah. And she's like, come on, come on. You've been wanting to find someone. Let's try it out. But you walk into that date with all of these preconceived notions that it is going to fail because you have the narrative that you are gonna be single for the rest of your life. So in fact, us creating that false sense of certainty is almost creating a certainty, if you could say that, because it is now our compass. It is now our internal compass. But there is magic that lies within uncertainty. Uncertainty is where your highest self lives. Uncertainty is where your highest self has the ability to guide you to your most optimal outcome for the greater good. Uncertainty is limitless possibilities. And in limitless possibilities, it is scary AF. But 
you have your own strength within those limitless possibilities. And that is the strength and the power of your perspective. Friend, we talk about that all the time. You have this ability to shift your perspective in any moment. So a book that I highly recommend if you have never read it, that is all about finding the beauty in uncertain times is The Gift of Maybe. Because the reality is we can't see the bigger picture. You can never truly determine the certainty. Yes, you can make up a false certainty in your mind, which then impacts your actions, which then may alter the outcome to be what you believe. But the problem is you are limiting yourself from all the other outcomes because you are so laser focused on that outcome that you will not see the other opportunities. And in this book, The Gift of Maybe, a farmer has a whole bunch of things that occur in his life and his neighbor always comes over and like one, his son's leg gets broken and the neighbor comes over and he's like, oh my gosh, that must be awful. And, and the guy's like, maybe. And then they come out for draft and his son can't be drafting because he broke his leg and the neighbor comes out and says, oh my gosh, that must be amazing. And he's like, maybe. And this keeps going on and you get to see how it all, all unfolds. Your highest self can see the entire picture. Things that don't feel like the outcome we are seeking may play a much larger part in the bigger picture, in long-term down the road of our experience. But again, when you go to seeking certainty in the uncertainty, you have entered the ego belief system, my friend because you've entered fear. Because the only reason you are trying to seek certainty is because you were fearful of the uncertainty. You are attempting to determine the future, which remember creates a narrative that impacts your actions. And not only in that situation in your life, Remember, how we do one thing is how we do all things. So when you have activated the ego belief system and have allowed yourself to step into that place of fear, that fear is showing up in other areas because we, not, we cannot be coming from a place of fear and love at the same time. So again, certainty is false always. You can, I mean, there is maybe some people out there that can predict the future, but the reality is even if someone can predict the future, if we make changes now, can it change? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. My grandma always said to me, there's only two things certain in life, Ashley, death and taxes. Okay. But are, is that true? Because what I've come to find out is that I can never die. I'm eternal love. And when it comes to taxes, I can move somewhere else and not have to pay taxes. I could choose not to pay taxes. I could unregister myself. So essentially, though those seem as though they were certains, because they're pretty strong certains in most people's minds, I've allowed myself to see a different side. I've allowed myself to sit in the uncertainty long enough to see other opportunities to present themselves. But if I always went with that narrative my grandma gave me, I don't think I would be here today. I don't think I would have allowed myself to be open to the possibility that I can't die, to be open to the possibility that I can choose different when it comes to taxes. But I did. And if you allow yourself to do that in other situations, imagine the beauty that lies within because it's then your highest self that is operating. It is no longer you trying to run the show. It is the one that knows the most optimal outcome for you and for the greater good. And that is who you will be guiding you when you are sitting in uncertainty. Remind yourself of this. When you find yourself in a situation that feels uncomfortable, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Am I attempting to create certainty in this uncertain situation? And if I am, what is the fear? And how do I release it? Right? We get curious. We shift our perspective, release the weight, and then we remember. We remember our highest self is our guide that we want with us, not ourself. I hope today's video was helpful for you, my friend. Remember again that we can never truly find certainty in the uncertainty. Instead, what we have done is we've limited ourselves from the limitless possibilities and the guide of our highest self that is located within the uncertainty. So start to get comfortable. Start little tiny steps of things that are small 
and allow yourself to to sit and simmer in the uncertainty and see that it's safe, that you will survive because remember, you can never die. You are eternal love. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Remember to share any topics you would like to discuss. And as always, remember you are worth it in so much love. Bye-bye.